at this point, how much jelly gouache do you think you've used or have? It's a good question. It's a great question, in fact. And um, yeah, I obviously have a problem. And if you click this video, I feel like you also share in that problem. So don't blame me. Okay. That's it. Uh, hi, welcome back to The Average. My name is Steph, I'm The Average Artist, and today we are looking at and using it every single one of my jelly gouache paints. And it was painful. It was painful to unleash these jellies into the world and think about how I was gonna get them back in the box, but I did it all for your entertainment. So please like the video. <laughs> no, I did it because I thought it would be interesting to see all these jelly paints together because I obviously have an addiction and all so, I mean, let's call a spade a spade here. Jelly paints do quite well on YouTube, so I like to review the jelly paints because it seems like something that everyone enjoys and I mean, I want people to watch my videos. I don't think there's any harm in that, trying to like grow my audience and stuff. So, I mean, like maybe people have problems with it, but I feel like the people who have problems with it probably didn't click on this video or they did and they're like, you suck, could you use jelly paint again? What's wrong with you? Yes, yeah, probably. Probably those people. Anyway, it was really un it was really unfun. It was really fun. A little bit unfun to unbox all these jelly paints because I wanted to see them all together and make a cool thumbnail. There is something really satisfying about watching it um, and knowing how I placed them all out and I plan to place them all in a rainbow formation because you'll see why. Well, also because, you know, it's pleasing, but also there's a reason for me um, putting them in rainbow formation. So there are 134 colours here, I think, roughly. I counted them, but I'm a bad counter, so I don't know, roughly. Which I think is a little less than I thought was going to be here. I thought there was going to be a lot, but I guess that's not right. As you know, I've already said that I wanted to create this in a rainbow colored um, placement, I guess is the word. And as I was placing stuff down, I was realizing that I didn't have that much desk space and I needed to figure out light to dark and also how the colors work together. Like, is this actually in rainbow order? And I realized it's not in rainbow order because rainbows go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, then violet. And I went red, <laughs> uh, purples, blues, greens, yellowy, orange, and then brown. Also, I don't use the brown in the end, so this video is a lie. You might as well just delete me from your life because I don't use all the jelly paints here. No, okay? I don't, and here's the reason why. Brown is an ugly colour, okay? There's no game past it. I don't want it on my rainbow painting that I'm going to do. A spoiler alert, it's going to be rainbow coloured painting. And also white. White didn't make much sense for me either. So, okay, I use all of the colours that are pleasing to me in this piece. Also, there are a few um, jelly gouaches here that are super unsavable. I couldn't save them. Um, when I went to dip into them, it was like a rock and... Uh, I was thinking I could go and put some like alcohol in this and revive them and stuff, but it just, you know, just let it slide, okay? So here are all the colors. It's very pleasing and I'm very, yes, I'm pleased with myself, okay? There I said it. These jelly paints, plaints? These jelly paints are obviously all different brands. So I'm gonna name them. We have the Mia Gouache, H I M I gouache jelly paints the original ogs that are in like the big palette form i have the black palette and the white palette the white palette contains jelly gouache that comes in little pots and also big ones half and half don't know why uh recently did a review on it still don't know why the black ones are just loads of paints but they have a row of metallic in it which i actually don't use in the end because i thought it didn't really make sense there's another um caveat to this video is that I didn't use the metallic ones. I probably should have, but you don't even see them, so I don't I shouldn't have brought it up. Just forget I said anything. We also have the Ink Lab honeycomb shape ones, which I'm a big fan of as well, which look very nice when they're out of their giant pot. We have the Marie's uh what's this called? Marie's brand, which has like the chocolate kind of lid. They're okay. I I think they're pretty much exactly the same consistency as 
the Mia gouache ones, but because they have this like lid that's not super airtight that they dry out a bit more easily. We also have these bigger shaped ones, which come from an unknown brand. They're just super cheap. I think they were like the cheapest ones I found on Amazon. And uh, yeah, they were like 10 quid for a set of 12. And then finally, we also have the Artex ones, which are basically the same as Mia Gouache ones, which are very nice as well. And uh, those are all the paints that we have here today. But <laughs> back to this um, jelly endeavor, it's time to paint, I guess, um, after seeing finally everything arranged, after arranging it, and then rearranging it into the color spectrum that I wanted it to be, it's time to get my paint on. And the painting begins. What did I do here? That may be the question on everyone's lips. I started this by just splotching down paint, and I was thinking I was gonna do, you know those satisfying videos where they have like, the pigment of the paint in like one little color and then it dots along and it changes color and it's these neat little dots and I was gonna try and do that and then I remembered that I'm me and that was never gonna, that was not gonna be happening. I'm too impatient, I'm too, I'm not controlled like that. So I felt like this piece spoke way more to the way that I am and it's definitely super indulgent because it's just it's 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 abstract so i mean at the end of the day you're either gonna like this or hate it i think and i kind of like it and it's gonna go on my wall and just be like this little reminder of of color and joy and just yeah like this little moment of joy in my life of just having fun with paint and i guess that will be a reminder to me to just play sometimes and to have joy in creating art which is something that I struggle with sometimes and I think I always have this mantra of like you're supposed to be enjoying this and I think when you do enjoy something you're creating it does reflect back into the work you're doing and I think people can see that and I hope that you can see that in this this piece that I'm having fun with it at first it was a little bit stiff it was a little bit difficult because I was like is this good is this gonna be good or is this, did I just waste loads of paint and a canvas that was perfectly good that could have been used for something else but I do like it in the end I think it is just like a reminder that I'm gonna put on my wall basically to have fun with painting and I hope that it's a reminder for you guys to have fun with painting too because I know that we all get lost in the in the work I'm gonna speed this footage up because I think it's just I think it's really fun looking at this splotching of paint in fast forward mode because I don't know something soothing about it something satisfying if you let me use that word again for the millionth trillionth time about splotting paint onto a canvas and it was so much fun and I had my little Jackson Pollock moment and I hope that you will both forgive and enjoy this piece also I'm sorry if you can hear my cat in the background because he is meowing to go outside. He's an indoor cat and we made the mistake of letting him outside for like half an hour once. Now he's punishing us by constant meowing for every minute of the day that he's awake. Literally every minute. So yeah here's my not so coloured rainbow in the sense that it's correctly coloured because <laughs> it's not correct at all but I do like the way that it looks and I hope that you guys like it too those keen-eyed amongst you might notice that yes I did indeed start with the red way too much way too much uh red there because um I forgot how many paints I had to go it was that kind of slow realization that I'm running out of paper you know when you start writing a word and then the paper is like coming to an end it was that fiasco but I like it because it felt like it was getting more intense as you go down the, uh, the colors here so yeah the greens and the yellows and that are a little bit squished on but please forgive me I kind of like it and we're done that is the painting I hope that you guys liked it and just um, let me be indulgent for a little bit with this fun jelly painting I know it's not our usual content maybe some people are not pleased but you know what I'm enjoying myself and that's uh, that's that Okay, thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye!